basically we decided to get tree bogs because we had a few visitors come up and um, a lot of them were asking where the toilets were so basically we thought we'd go and find someone who could come in and do a tree bog course and we found a guy called Jay Tree Bog. You use it like a normal toilet, you sit on a toilet seat and then there's um, tissue that you would obviously use after you've gone to the toilet. Everything goes down into the base of the toilet. Um, we decided to put them in this area because it's mainly seen as the main camping site. It's very clear and everyone could actually locate the toilets when they came in to um, Nature's Playground and had a wander because they're quite busy and you can see them from the pathway as well. And this is Huff who is our woodlands manager and he was part of the team that actually built the tree bogs on the tree bog course. Okay so to just run over the basic construction it's uh, four large hornbeam poles for the, for the main main structure then we've built the platform on top and then the main sort of the main workings not that there's much in the way of workings is the wire basket filled with straw and that allows the, the moisture to be wicked away from the waste um, if you notice it's quite open so you get a lot of airflow so there's no smell um, the one thing we are missing and we need to put in is a, a ring of willows around the back and again that will sort of wick away more moisture We've got two tree bogs. Um, this is the one that we're using at the moment. When this one gets full, we can then move on to the second one. And yeah, they last about two years. And then you'd need to build another tree bog, reuse all, all, your, all your timber cladding. Um, and yeah, just let it kind of return into the soil. This, this is the sawdust and every hour or two, someone will come round once the toilets have been used and we will place about two to three um, handfuls of sawdust down the toilet. Um, and basically that helps with the um, breakdown of the deposits that's down inside the base of the toilet. Um, one of the people that came and helped us to do the course, one of the things he left us with was this little saying, a little scoop for every other poop. So basically that's why we go around and put the sawdust in the actual toilets because especially if there's children they might get a bit excited about having lots of sawdust and try and pour all the sawdust down in the toilet which means that it doesn't work as well um, and it means that their base actually gets filled up rather quickly. So, like I said, a little scoop for every other poop. It also helps to stop the smell and because there's air, uh, a lot of air goes through the hay base, um, it stops the smell from coming through and because there's quite a lot of ventilation within the actual toilets, you don't smell anything at all, otherwise I wouldn't be able to stand here. <laughs> so we built two tree bogs, uh, over the course of a weekend, two days, uh, with a team of six people. 